Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to get a lug nut or any kind of nut that's lodged inside of one of these bolt grips, these Irwin bolt grips or anything similar where it has the kind of that spiraled blade pattern where it grabs onto a stripped uh, nut or bolt. When those nuts get lodged in there like this, and I'll show you, but when you're dealing with a lug nut, there's nowhere really to grab on to bang it out, but I'm going to show you a quick trick that'll get it out nice and easy. Let's get started. Here's what we're dealing with for this one here. This is a lug nut that was stripped. If you want to see my video on how to remove seized or, or stuck lug nuts, you can check that out via the link above. I'll also have it down in the description. But what we have here was one that was stripped. We used one of these Irwin, these bolt grips. These are really good. If you want to see some of my other videos on how to remove stri uh, stripped nuts and bolts, things like that, and how to use tap and die sets, I'll have that also down in the description. But if you look through the center, this is like a perfect hole you can see through it. There's nowhere to insert like a punch or something in there and bang it out. So once this is in, you're not going to get this out because this thing is lodged in. Those, those kind of those bladed edges have really dug into the lug nut itself. But here's a, a quick and easy way to get that out. So let's head over here and I'll show you. What I have is a spare wheel stud. And you can either use the, the stud itself or if you get... Um, a bolt with the you know the correct pattern but basically what I'm going to do is just take it and screw it in on this end all the way through let's get that in there get that in there that way you, you want to get it in far enough so that way it's got a nice tight grip because now if we look through and I'll get a close up Now you have the edge of the stud, and now we can put a punch through, and I'll show you where we're going to secure this, this Irwin socket. Give it a good whack with a, a three-pound sledgehammer or, or a regular hammer, but you want something with some, some force behind it. It'll knock that right out, and you're good to go. First thing you're going to want to do is put on some safety glasses. Anytime you're banging with metal and stuff, you want to be careful. What I have here is just a steel galvanized pipe where the diameter is just big enough for this Irwin bit to sit right like that, hold it steady. We'll take our punch, put it right through here, take our sledgehammer, Whoop. you can hear it, it knocked it out. So I'm gonna pop this out and then we'll be back to take a look at it. Here's our stripped lug nut, and then you can just unscrew this part here, your stud, because the stud's not damaged. You still have that, and everything's been separated. Quick and easy. Okay, that wraps up this quick video on how to remove um, a stripped lug nut, or any kind of nut really, if it's lodged inside of one of these bolt grip type of um, sockets. Lug nuts specifically, because as we saw at the beginning, you have a big enough diameter in there. You don't have anywhere to grab onto to knock it out. If you've got like a smaller nut, sometimes you can get the punch in there and you can hit it from the inside. But in this case, as we showed, just take an extra wheel stud or a bolt at that right diameter of that to feed it in. And you're going to hit it just on that flat part, bang it right out, secure it inside of a pipe or something. That way the rounded diameter will fit in, but then you have this this pattern here, this hex pattern that will hold on here on the outer part of the pipe. Give it a couple whacks and it's done. That wraps up this video. I hope it was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with maybe any issues you're having with similar situation. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel as I'm constantly posting new content. I'll see you next time.